In this video, I'm going to share with you how much YouTube paid me for a video that got a little over 360,000 views. If you've seen my content before, you know that I strongly suggest entrepreneurs, businesses, and brands to have a YouTube channel. But in this video, I'm hoping to get you to consider how YouTube could be a digital asset for your business that will allow you to generate income from ads all while focusing on your core business service or products. In this video, I got a little over 300,000 views. And as you can see, majority of the views did not come from my subscribers or any major SEO search engine optimization I had done. These views came from YouTube suggesting my video. When YouTube suggests your video, it is a game changer. YouTube will put you in front of more people than you could have ever imagined. And it's all based on what their viewers like to watch. Now I'll go over what you can do to help YouTube suggest your video to more people. Here's what I want to point out. My channel was only monetized almost a year ago and my channel was still relatively small. I want you to understand that this is not an overnight success thing, but I want you to see the potential. As the channel grows, so will the income produced by Google AdSense and business opportunities presented by the extended reach. This video made a little over $1,200. Not much, but not bad. Now, what if you had more videos? I want you to consider that each one of your videos are a digital asset and they grow in value over time. After you put the video up, you can go back to doing your core business offerings. You can create another source of income for your business and brand while attracting people to your core business. So I encourage you to start planting those YouTube seeds today. Now, how do you make your video to increase your chances of YouTube suggesting your content? First, you have to remember that YouTube's goal to keep people on the platform as long as possible and to give them a good user experience. YouTube sells advertising and they will share some of those advertising dollars with you if you help them keep people on the platform. So much so that they will recommend your content to their viewers. So make sure your videos have the following to help YouTube help you. Do not use unlicensed music. If you don't have the license to the music, do not use it. Why would YouTube promote a video that is doing copyright infringement? So make sure that if you're using music that you have the rights to it. If you need music, YouTube has a free music library that has sound effects and music that you can use in your videos. Once you start making money, then you can pay for a music subscription service. Number two, create an attractive thumbnail so that people will want to click on it. YouTube measures click through rate which means when people see this thumbnail, are they likely to click and watch the video? Number three, create quality content. And I know this sounds like duh, but understand YouTube measures everything. If someone clicks on your video and they like it and they stay for a while, then watch more videos, YouTube loves that and they wanna see it more and more. The more it happens, the more YouTube likes you. Number four, consistency. Remember, YouTube sells advertising. Who wants to advertise their business on old videos? Advertisers want to advertise on new and interesting content. So it creates a bit of a pressure for YouTube to always have a supply of new content. So there is an incentive to create new, consistent, valuable content and YouTube will reward you for that. These are just some tips to get you started. Now, go get started. In the description below, I've included a worksheet that will help you brainstorm some ideas you can use for your particular business in regards to creating content for YouTube. I hope that helps. If you found this video helpful, be sure to share it. Until next time.